This morning I'm making a little two egg scramble. It's about 11.30 and I am pretty hungry. So a lot of you know that I also do intermittent fasting. So I try to eat a little bit past 11 or longer if possible. So what I have here is three points of veggie sausage. They actually have maple flavor. They're new, I've never tried them before. So they smell pretty good. And then I have a little bit of tri-colored peppers and I'm just gonna fry up these eggs. I have been looking all over for this book. I can't show you guys what's in this book. This is my secret YouTube book. Every time I get an idea for a YouTube video, even if it's like goofy and stupid and I'm never going to do it, I write it down in this book. So I thought I lost it and that was almost a problem, but I found it. So we're all good. I just had a really good idea. At least I think it's a good idea. And I'm going to Write it down in this book. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but this is my favorite. If you like hummus and you kind of like that sweet heat taste, but not too hot, like not where you're going to have an ulcer hot, this is really, really good. It's my absolute favorite. I usually do, I'll do two tablespoons, sometimes three, and I'll dip it with cucumbers, and that is my lunch a lot of times, or kind of like a snack, because it's really delicious and satisfying to me. So if you see this in your store, grab it. Tonight's dinner is going to be basically chicken fajitas. So I have a bunch of chicken in here that I've started, and then also I have in the bottom of the pan some olive oil spray, tri-colored peppers, red onions sliced up, and about a tablespoon of garlic. And I also have, you can kind of see scattered throughout here, oh, probably three tablespoons of chopped cilantro. So I'm just kind of getting that browned up. I also tossed on here some fajita seasoning. You can use any type of fajita seasoning you like. This is the one I'm using. So now that I have it just sort of charred on the bottom, I'm going to turn this on low and get it covered up and kind of let it go. This is something really unique. It's called a multi-pot cooker, and I really like it. It's made by a company called Starfrit, and this line is called The Rock. I really, really am enjoying this. This is like graphite, um, and you use it just like you would a, I really like an electric skillet because you can change the temperature down here. So I'm going to put this on low and let this go. Just to deepen the flavor a little bit, I'm going to add in some of this vegetable better than bouillon. This one is my favorite. You can kind of see here, I've been using the heck out of it, but it's real thick like a demi-glaze. So I'm just going to do one teaspoon of it and I'm going to throw in a little bit of water just to deepen the flavor of the chicken. Okay, we've been going about an hour. Let's see how we look. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Let me scoot it back for you guys. Now I am definitely gonna kick that down because 
we don't want it boiling we just want it simmering but just a little bit of bouillon really makes a nice sauce so i'm going to let this go easily another hour and then we'll check on it okay we're at the two hour mark let's see if we are done i would say we are looks delicious so this is zero points and what i'll do is just cut this up into strips and put it in a little street taco you could even put it over a bed of lettuce you could put it over rice if you wanted to now i want to let you guys know this multi-pot cooker electric cooker if you're interested in it i am going to link this below they gave me a really nice discount a 20 percent discount off on anything on their website I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a great product, and I honestly haven't seen anything like it in the U.S. in our marketplace. There might be something out there, but I just haven't seen it. It's really nice, nice quality, and you can see I have my hands on the handles. I can lift it easily. It's graphite, so to me, it's a lot like an electric cooker, but my electric cooker I can't even pick the handles up, and I'm always nervous if the kids are going to touch the side. This is hot, but it's not blazing hot. So if you're interested, I'll have it linked below for you with a nice 20% discount.